let's continue and let's watch because I'm curious to see Casey Neistat's review of the fucking Apple Vision Pro. I'm not too sure what you guys think of it. Um, I'm still a little bit on the fence as to whether or not I would use it day to day. I'm not too sure if you guys agree. Um, I do love just the technology side behind it. Um, you know, spatial computing is awesome. I think I like more the idea of spatial computing than I do of wearing the goggles. I think the goggles look a bit redacted, but I actually do love the idea of having all these screens around you that you can kind of move around about making computing instead of just sitting down in front of these, you know, um, hardware pieces of monitors and computers and stuff and using it that way. I find the idea of using your computers in the air like this fucking amazing. It kind of reminds me of some great sci-fi movie or a Mission Impossible where you're kind of like pressing buttons and screaming and moving shit around that's fucking incredible it kind of changes um content and viewing experiences and makes it all immersive um learning opportunities are pretty cool as well um all of that is amazing but of course it looks incredibly incredibly redacted but some of the memes i've seen online about people using it have been pretty kind of cool to see and I want to quickly show you some of them because I think <laughs> you might get a bit of a buzz out of seeing some of this. Like, especially if you just type it in onto flipping Twitter. If you just type in Apple Vision Pro, you'll see some of the flipping people posting stuff on there. And it has been so fascinating to see how other people outside of tech, because I think a lot of the tech guys received their ones kind of early. But now we've got like loads of regular guys, especially clout demons out there making their bits of content and stuff with Apple Vision Pros on. And it's quite shocking to see people walking around with these massive goggles, um, trying to make them work and trying to kind of use them day to day in their commute or whatever it may be. So far, the reports I've seen is that they're quite heavy. Um, people are saying that you can't wear it, you know all day long um, obviously you can't because the battery doesn't last all day anyway but they're quite heavy to kind of have on the whole time and you kind of do feel it kind of front facing kind of you know maybe kind of falling off of your head and shit but in general i love some of the memes like imagine imagine being on a new york subway right train and seeing a kid just sitting there you know with his little apple <laughs> vision pro on doing that Right, just sitting there flicking around, pinching and zooming and shit, right? With these massive goggles on. That looks fucking insane. Absolutely wild. This kid just there. Um, there's another video of obviously people doing their thing on the, in their bedrooms, testing the thing. There's a clip of a guy in a car driving a Tesla, actually, um, whilst wearing the goggles. That's absolutely insane. I think he got stopped by a police officer. I think this might be the kid, actually. There's a kid, he gets in his Tesla with the Apple Vision Pros on. And then he, he and then he drives his Tesla on autopilot. It's absolutely hilarious. With the little tissue on the side, right? There's a video of a kid here walking down the street in Soho, wearing a pair of Apple Vision Pros, right? <laughs> <laughs> they look they look kind of insane, but you know, you know, with technology, surely you know in a couple of years this will be the norm. You know that's going to happen, don't it? You know in a couple of years, seeing a kid walking down the street with a pair of Apple Vision Pros on is going to be completely normal, especially once they figure out how to get the hardware smaller and smaller and smaller. Because don't be surprised if soon in the future they get them to be the size of a regular pair of Ray-Bans. Like, that's probably where it's going to end up going. Maybe even to the point of fucking contact lenses. But they're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So um, these are going to be very, very common. Um, but the first iterations are pretty crazy there's a kid here buying shoes on sneakers right a pair, a, he's buying a pair of shoes on sneakers on there wearing the apple vision pros very on brand to be fair he's the kind of kid i would expect to have apple pair, apple vision pros on with his supreme skateboards in the back and his beer bricks right buying getting something on sneakers app and obviously there's a casey nice video that we're going to watch as well um and obviously the kid there on the train so let's actually watch the casey nice video because i'm curious to see what he thinks of it and i want to see his review because his review is not going to be as tech review based but it will still be interesting to see what he thinks of the apple vision pro let's actually see what casey nice has to say about it let's see what he has to say about it <laughs> <laughs> like what? That's Do wild. I look like real? Yeah, I mean your eyes are <laughs> Case close. Your te there's too much teeth. I think I like him, but he's a really ugly dude, isn't it? 
he's a really ugly motherfucker, isn't it? Fucking hell. Even that avatar thing. Look at how clapped he looks. Jesus Christ, Casey. Cut off your face, man. Jesus. I don't know. Uh, I want to make a review. Come help me. All right. Sounds good. All right. Meet you downstairs at five. All right. All right, if you want like a normal review of this thing, I can't recommend enough to go watch, to go watch Marquez Brownlee's. His is fantastic. This is a different, like, I kind of have a different take on this and different questions, and that's what this is. But Marquez's is really good. What is this thing that I'm holding, literally? You are right. How do you find it? I've had it for like an hour. Yeah, okay. Can you put windows up now? Yeah, so like I can put a window up. They're just huge, isn't it? That's the issue. They're just fucking massive. Because I could think of them being really good to like DJ with. I think the Ray-Ban ones probably be something that I'll probably end up buying. The ones are used for Snapchat and shit. They're just a little bit more chic and easier to kind of wear. But they're just so big. And that cable... You have to kind of carry around with you with the battery pack is so goofy looking right the little cord you have to wear as you're walking around with them but they look huge if anything you know the, they kind of remind me of like the what's the apple is it the, is it the iphone 8 that had the metal ridge around it still that kind of what it, reminds, it just reminds me like of a of an iphone that's been shaped into a pair of goggles that you wear in the front that's what it kind of looks maybe that's the whole point of the design is to kind of make it look iphone-y but just that's what it, that's what I initially see when I look at them. I just see like an iPhone that's been bent into the shape of goggles to put in front of your face. But to wear them on a plane though, on a long train ride, to watch a movie, to watch some sports, I think that'll be a vibe. That's the only thing. That'll be a vibe. To watch sports on that is gonna be fucking incredible. Movies and shit, like exactly, I'm super jello. For home use, absolutely incredible. Like as a as a home entertainment system thing. Up now, yeah. when I start walking, they like go away. They fade away. Yeah, yeah cool. dude. Well, enjoy. Careful. Yeah, take care. All right, you too, man. Get a random pile of bricks, an old toilet. I found the restroom. And a bunch of random wooden poles. Man's watching Mr. Beast videos, you know, on. Uh, when he's on the subway. There's more poles. Pile on. Let's pile onto that boat, please. And as you can see, the he just look. Even how he's standing. Look, he's standing on the side of the platform, about to go on the train, and just look how massive that shit looks. It's protruding so far out. They just look so huge. <laughs> I don't think they were designed for people to actually wear out out and about day to day. Is it, it kind of felt even the adverts right on on their flipping um YouTube? It's mostly people using them indoors. That's probably how they kind of designed them. So maybe the second and third iterations would be a little bit more like oh for people that want to go outdoors and stuff, people that want to work out and run. Because I'm waiting to see that person. I'm waiting to see the person who works out with them. I'm waiting to see the CrossFit person. I'm waiting to see the runner. I'm waiting to see the skateboarder. I think that'll be quite cool to see how they kind of use them. But they look more home use than they do like commuting or living but later in this video we're going to a hundred island and also super island but first we're in yeah very good point about the robbing fashion road man you know what it reminds me of do you remember the early era of the white earbuds but forget the iphone do you remember the white earbuds with your, with your ipods so when ipods came out one of the defining factors about the iPod was obviously the white Apple earphones, but they also became like a magnet for people to rob you because they knew you'd have a, a very expensive iPod. And obviously the headphones were really good at that point. Now most headphones are pretty decent. No one's going to want to steal your headphones unless you've got flipping AirPods. But that's the problem. They're going to become like, because everyone knows what they are now. There's because the most viral piece of tech out there. It's going to become a thing where people know the value and they're gonna be ripping these from your head and you probably won't see them coming you know unless i don't know unless they put some sort of locking system in place do you <laughs> imagine there's some lock that you can do where they drill it into your skull <laughs> so it can't get ripped off of you head over to strategy for interacting with 
people. They gaslight. But that looks cool. Let's be fair. Let's be fair, guys. I know it's it's a it's a it's a it's a theft magnet, but sitting on the train and just having that screen to your right like that it looks so cool, right? The screen to his right, you can see the girl in front of him and shit. Like that's pretty cool. Like how the screen's just like floating in the air like that. It's fucking amazing. You into thinking? So, if you're moving a lot while you're moving. This thing comes up that says tracking fail. So it doesn't track if you're moving a lot. So there's nothing for the sensors to like lock on to. It doesn't know where to put stuff. But standing at a subway stop watching a Mr. Beast video is a pretty special, it's a pretty special experience. Yo, Big Up Richie, getting us lazier and lazier. I don't think I agree with that, brother, you know? I don't think I agree with that, bro. I think we're already quite lazy. I think the laziness set in probably during COVID. I think a lot of people have never really recovered from that era. They've become social recluse, socially recluse. Um, you know, they just don't really go outside much. They just, you know, stay on their phones. They're on their laptop all the time. They're on discords. They're on fucking WhatsApp groups and shit. Like it's, it, it's been a long time coming. This is not, people aren't going to stay in more because of the flipping Apple Vision Pro. I don't think so. Um, if anything, I think it's just addressing what people are going through now they're probably just seeing people want other forms of entertainment that kind of sit outside of you know um that kind of sit outside of uh, the screen the conventional screen on a smartphone or a desktop computer and this basically um kind of fills that void so i don't really see it as a as a laziness thing i just see it as like a meeting us at where we're currently at and we're already very very lazy yes. hold on Jordan. let me try to figure out how to What do you think? It's interesting. I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine why you're looking at. Uh... I'm looking at you right now. Oh, okay. I can see you clear as day. You got on a blue tie with a beautiful tie pin at the top, so I can see you. I get off here. Enjoy your adventure. Bye bye. <laughs> Uh, I opened up Apple TV and it was like this window right here, Jordan. And as he started to move, the window went away with the back, with the subway car. You can't. Oh, I see what you're saying. So the tracking only works if the background is still. So you have to be indoors. But if you're on a train and you try and watch something, when it tracks the environment around you, the the, you know it's kind of you're moving so it feels like the, yeah so i get it so you can't really watch stuff on the train unless you stare at a particular point and it can track that point and then it can project the screen on that area so it's, there's a bit of a bug there a little bit maybe you can fix it. maybe that'll be fixed easier with a firmware update probably those if you're in like a if there's a lot of movement, like kinetic movement and i imagine it works in an airplane because the airplane is so steady but this is a subway and it's bouncing so I gotta wait till we get there. I listen tethered to my iPhone. It seems to be working well enough. It looks, come on, it looks fucking cool though, doesn't it? Can we not say it looks really cool design wise? Right? In, when it comes to like a industrial design, product design point of view, that looks incredibly well designed and incredibly well put together. Like, that is finished really well. Look how shiny it looks. Again, maybe I'm a bit of an Apple fanboy and I'm fucking jacking off underneath this table right now, but I like how it looks. I just couldn't picture how big my head is now and adding that fucking thick lens on the front. I'll look fucking crazy. But for some reason, when I try to open Safari, it won't open. Kind of redacted it. <laughs> Look how he's standing. That's super. Imagine seeing people out on the street doing this. Like just <laughs> replying. <laughs> he's just look how he's standing, replying to his text. Oh, this is fucking brilliant. This is so brilliant. Wow. 
there's even a floating keyboard. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. And it's tactile too. So you can hear it pressing as he's typing. Oh, the geek inside of me wants one so bad, but I'm, I'll wait for the other iterations first before I jump on. Standing. It's so funny. I was just responding to text messages. <laughs> no way! You're the only person I wanted to be. Casey, wait, Casey, I can't tell. Can you not tell? No way. Oh we were my god. Here, we, were like, we, were we were just wanting to see. Oh something. my god! No way! I'm actually freaking out. The idea that I could have my whole life. Computer digital online world that exists. He's like the Burt Crash of YouTube, isn't it? He? he loves it when his fans come up to him and he loves recording bits of it as well and then complaining about it afterwards on podcasts. But he loves it, he loves the attention. He's like the fucking blogging version of Burt Crash. In the real world, that's what that's what feels like is bigger than AR or VR. Like I have the Oculus, it's great, but it definitely feels like a toy. This feels like a little glimpse into the future of what computing could be like down the road. Why is everybody staring at me? <laughs> That's the thing that people keep saying computing, but people are not going to be using it to do computing. They're going to be used to using it to fucking jack off and watch fucking movies and shit. It's just what it's going to turn into. This idea people are going to be using it to complete like complex tasks like editing movies and producing music and shit i don't think that's going to be true people are still going to prefer to have you know bits of hardware and shit to use i think most people are just going to use it as an entertainment system because can you imagine the porn on this can you imagine if you're like a proper goon squad guy right you got your goon room can you imagine if you're one of those type of dudes that believes in like dolls and peripherals and shit what you're going to be doing with that with that shit on can you imagine the filth you could get up to with fucking um what you call it with um uh deep fakes and stuff wearing those it gets really spooky really quickly <laughs> do i look as ridiculous as those people make me feel like i look no you're just your eyes are glowing <laughs> how you doing jordan you're standing right in front of my mr beast video <laughs> Come right there. Okay. Years ago. This used to be a bar? Yep. Yeah. You want to walk under this? <laughs> Someone's in the comments probably saying that. Watch out for the black sitting next to you, Casey. <laughs> he's looking at your rift. He's looking, sorry, he's looking at your... <laughs> he's looking at your AVPs, man. Guard your AVPs from the blacks, Casey. So the idea of spatial computing, it doesn't make sense to me when I'm sitting in my office. I've got multiple screens. But right now I'm like in the city. I'm in the middle of Times Square. I've got my virtual keyboard here. I've got Apple TV there. I got YouTube Safari's open here. And it all kind of works. <laughs> when, he, when he tilts his head, when we see his recording of what he's seeing, it kind of is a bit no it's kind of a bit nauseating if you're watching it from our point of view maybe it's not when you're wearing it but when he shows his recording he's like screen recording it kind of feels a bit nauseating so i think maybe if you i think this happens with most headset right so again i haven't used headsets but i think most of you would agree if you use like an oculus i think i remember reading it, there's a certain limit of how long you can use them until you start getting a little bit dizzy vertigo you start feeling a little bit queasy and shit so maybe that's the same thing happens with the apple vision pro after a while especially when you're like you know all these screens all over the place and your head's fucking bolted onto those fucking goggles like this what i've got going on right now this is wild it's impossible for me to imagine that you can't see what i can see everything seems so real and then i can just stand up
Yo, big up Chris Mack. AZ, do you remember the Ready Player One movie? Reminds you of the scene where the evil corporate dude is ready to tell them they do studies and found um, could cover over 80% of the field of view of ads. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, Ready Player One is a really good movie, actually. I, I think the book is better. People always said it. Is it the book? Is that a book on it? Yeah, I think so. Is that a book I'm talking about? It's the one where like they've got they've got the headsets, right? And he um he plays a game and he has to win coins or something. I remember, I, I watched it a long time ago. But yeah, I I definitely remember what you're talking about. Um, the headset ready player one though is port is it portable? It's not got cable in it, in it. The ready player one, it's just like a. Because I think I'm thinking of the what's the movie with um, the lady from Oppenheimer? I think you cancelled the series where you put the little skull cap on instead. So it's different. I wonder that's what I wonder if that that's what um thing you would do. Um, what's his company? Um, Neuralink. Maybe that's where Elon's going with Neuralink. Maybe Neuralink's end goal is to have like a an implant instead of it being a Vision Pro thing like that. Maybe it's an implant that allows you to do the special computer. Thing. Maybe who? Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah, Chris Mack, yeah, because the main guy in, in Ready Player One, he has like this, like he has like this sort of like seat thing in it that he sits in. It's like a really like it's like this weird like like a pod, like a little like a like a yeah, like an incubation pod type sort of thing. Oh wow, it's a butterfly. The butterfly is eating my donut. Yeah, the butterfly is eating my donut. Through his Apple Vision Pro, he sees it. Dinosaurs. Is that dinosaur actually aware that? Huh? No way. Is it aware that he's eating a, eating a fucking donut? Or is he eating a The concept for this video was to run around New York City wearing these because I thought that would be funny. Mm. I think it was funny. But something happened. happened. Something happened today that was completely unexpected. And that something I don't think anyone else has really touched on. None of the That's reviews right. I've seen or read, none of them really uh, uh, put to words what I experienced. What so then? when you take these off, they kind of go to sleep like your phone. And when you yeah. put them back on, you have to unlock them. They scan your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. And then to start screen recording, go through the... It takes a second. Okay. So rather than doing that, I just left these on the entire day. Um, the, like, two and a half hour battery pack, you can plug into a fatter battery. So I never ran out of battery power. And after a couple of hours of running around the streets of New York, as in not in a controlled environment, uh -huh. my brain sort of clicked, and it just forgot that I was looking through cameras and screens. Oh. And it just it, it took what it saw as reality. And that is where this, this, that's where the, that profound moment came from. So I guess this is like similar to Ready Player One and most sci-fi movies where they get into like this virtual reality thing and then normal life becomes mundane. We're going to have, we're going to have people suffering from post Apple Vision, post Apple Vision Pro trauma or something or separation issues from their vision pro when they break <laughs> or they get stolen because they can't go back to that immersive world that they were in and the real world just doesn't hit the same oh my god bro we already have issues with people suffering from all manners of mental health issues people suffering from abuse drug addiction alcohol everything else prescription drugs and now on top of that we're gonna have apple vision pro based diseases <laughs> oh man we thought life was gonna get better but this is gonna create way more issues for people because real life can never compete with dinosaurs flying at you and stuff man yeah exactly jesse we are done for oh god 
And what occurred to me as I was sitting there in Times Square on a bench, strangers all around me, the real world moving all around me. But I had like a big screen up where I was watching a Mr. Beast video. And then over here I had this keyboard that I could interact with. And over here I had my iMessages. And over here I had my Apple TV and then all of my apps. And they're floating in Times Square in the middle of New York City. They're floating there and I'm actually there. And there's actual humans around me. And in that moment, I was like, holy shit, this is it. This is the future of computing that everyone's been promising for like the last 15 years. This is something that like, let me like truly peek into where we're at, where all of this is going. This isn't the, like the future of AR or VR. This case is going to be able to watch all of the fucking bodies being blown up in Palestine, isn't it? That's what he's excited about. Casey's going to be able to see IDF soldiers in fucking 4K blowing up kids and shit. <laughs> That's what he's happy about. He's like, yeah, bro. He's going to be able to watch that shit with, in 4K like he's there. He's going to be able to pick up a gun himself and LARP as a fucking <laughs> IDF soldier. He's going to be able to fulfill his fantasy. <laughs> that's what he's actually happy about oh. this is the i think this is the future interface for all computing i think when they figure out how to make these not be these heavy four thousand dollar metal ski goggles but you know maybe they look like these glasses or something even smaller that that is what it'll be in the morning you won't remember your phone you put it on and then that's it and it's like hold on i've got a call hey what's up mom i'll call you back you look great by the way and that's what it's going to look like <laughs> And Imagine swiping your mum like that, like by uh, slapping your mum away. <laughs> these show you that. These reveal that. I am like, <laughs> as a geek. <laughs> Do you condemn watching videos of of Casey um, watching videos of Hamas and fapping? <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> knowing how, knowing full well that the more damage Hamas does, the more the more Israeli defense force can get away with. You know. Casey's going to be fucking loving every fucking minute of it. He'll be in meetings with Benjamin Netanyahu, just like giggling away with his Vision Pro on, loving every minute of it, offering him suggestions on the content that they can do for the official Israeli Twitter fucking profile. He's going to be loving everything. That was the thing I've been looking for forever. And they did it right here on a product that has like, uh, a product that is so new. This has been out for 12 hours. And I felt it. So I don't know that I recommend you should buy one of these at $4,000 because I can promise you this. This will be the worst Vision Pro Apple ever ships. It is going to get so much better. All right. And maybe I'll make another video that, that's, that, that makes more sense of this. But <sighs> it's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. He's one ugly motherfucker, but it's pretty cool. I understand why he's so excited about it. I really do. Because eventually, you know how technology is, like how, te how technology goes, how everything works. Eventually, that thing is going to be the size of the Ray Bans he's currently wearing, or even smaller. It's just going to get small. That's the crazy thing about technology. It all starts off a bit clunky. It starts off a bit awkward. But then along the line, along the way, iteration after iteration, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And to the point where it end up being maybe even a fucking contact lens. That's the actual scary part of it. But like people said, like, can you imagine the come down from this? From that amount of stimuli? Can you imagine that the come down from this? Like there are going to be some people that won't be living. They, they, they won't, there'll be some guys out there, specifically guys that won't leave their rooms ever. Right. If you thought it was bad with dudes who play, you know, who, who play fucking, you know, who play online all the time. If you thought it was bad with people who stream all the time. If you thought it was bad with people putting fucking pee, bo pee bottles and shit under their desk and food plates under their bed. Can you imagine what it's going to be like with the Apple Vision Pro now going forward? Can you imagine how many people are just going to refuse to leave their homes because they've got an Apple Vision Pro? Can you imagine? Can you imagine how deep it's going to get? It's going to get deep. It's going to get scary, but it's going to be flipping fun. I bet you it's going to be so much fun. And I'm really eager and happy and, and interested to see how this develops over the next few years because I feel like 
we're just about getting started really we, we haven't really even got started because now other companies have seen what apple have done then inevitably going to copy it and have their own version of it right from samsung's and all these other flipping companies they're going to bring out their own version of it and it's going to get fucking spooky very 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 quickly but yeah i love it um i could i could see myself wearing it on a plane i could see myself enjoying it at home whether or not i would want to use it day to day outside probably not but then again who knows um who, it, just imagine festivals as well i just thought about it too in my line of work right djs and stuff imagine music festivals imagine places like coachella start to make you know um specific content geared around the apple vision pro maybe they start having different packages and shit um where you can maybe quote unquote meet some of the people that are performing or you can maybe feel like you're on stage and watching them from the vip places and stuff imagine you can start selling digital vip spots <laughs> imagine digital vip spots to see people you know at your favorite concerts so you have to kind of actually go and you know pay to enter drink all that so you can do it all from the comfort of your own home and watch the weekend perform somewhere and you feel like you're in the box somewhere watching it also it's gonna be fucking spooky i'm here for it i'm here for it i love it um i can't wait to see more of it going forward i cannot wait to see more of it going forward but three thousand five hundred dollars is gonna be bad i'm actually curious to see how low the price goes i don't think you're ever gonna get an apple vision pro under a thousand dollars i don't think so maybe even under two because it starts already it's three thousand five hundred but according to people that I saw on YouTube, it's very difficult to do the options without it not going over four grand. So it's within the 3,000 to 4,000 plus. So I'm curious to see how far down they can, how cheap they can get this made or how cheap they can offer it on sale um, because that might then open it up to more people. But, you know, Apple's not really in the business of selling things to everybody. They just have their prices and, you know, it is what it is.